Hello everyone, welcome back to the Blockman Editor tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. In this video, we will introduce the Editor Sound System. Three D sound effects are components of the editor that simulate real-world sound effects. So, how do we create three D sound effects in the editor? Go to the editor and select the map in the game resources view. Click on the plus sign to the right of the map and choose to add a three D sound effect. The sound that appears below is the three D sound effect we have created under map. We select the three D sound effect and you can see that the sound effect properties are unselected in the properties view on the right. We need to add a music file to it, and here we have prepared several pieces of music in advance. Note that the editor's sound system currently only supports the .mp3 music format. We can either drag and drop the file directly into the sound effect properties, or click on the sound effect properties, and select the music file in the resources. By clicking on the play button to the right of the sound effect properties, we can play the selected music file. If you don't want to use the current music, click the remove button on the right side of the music file bar. We can also drag the music files we want to use directly into the scene to create 3D sound effects. The 3D sound effect created this way will use the music file we selected by default. We can also add 3D sound effects to the part and mesh parts in the scene. The way to create them is also to click on the plus button, and select, add 3D sound effects. In the properties view of the 3D sound effect, we can change its name. The position is adjusted by directly modifying the coordinate information, or by using the move function in the menu bar. After the autoplay property is checked, the 3D sound effect will be played automatically when you enter the game. The loop property controls whether the music will be played repeatedly. The number in the play speed property determines the speed at which the music is played. When the value is 1, the play speed is the default speed. When the value is greater than 1, the play speed is accelerated and uncat. When the value is less than 1, the play speed is slowed down, and the minimum value is 0.01. The last four properties need to be explained together, because the unaffected distance, max distance and attenuation method are used to modify the volume attribute, we refer to the chart to understand its implication. The default value for volume is also the maximum value, which is 1. We can drag the slider or modify the value to adjust the volume. With 3D sound effect as the center, Draw a sphere with unaffected distance as the radius. The volume within the range of the sphere will always remain at the set value. Also use the 3D sound effect as the center, and then draw a sphere with the maximum distance as the radius. Between these two spheres, the volume decreases from the inside out according to the attenuation method. Beyond the range of the larger sphere, the volume decreases to zero. We use the function diagram to represent the change process for the attenuation method. The linear attenuation part is a proportional function, and the volume decreases uniformly. The attenuation part of the linear square is quadratic and the volume decreases exponentially. The mixed type is a linear and linear squared stack with irregularly decreasing volume. The inverse attenuation part is an inverse proportional function, the volume decreases quickly and then decreases slowly. In the buff, skill and missile panels, we can also set the sound effects. This has been explained in detail in the previous course on components, and you can watch the related video on the official website. Their sound effects correspond to the same properties panel, here we will take buff as an example, to explain briefly. Create a buff by clicking on the Create Buff button, or the New button in the lower right corner. Select the Performance property and add a music file to the Sound Effect property. After the Audible to Self Only property is checked, in multiplayer games, the buff sound effects can only be heard by the player who triggered it, 
multiple players triggering it will also not interfere with each other. The loop, volume and play speed properties are the same as those in 3D sound effect, there is no need to repeat them here. The sound effects here do not belong to the 3D sound effects, cannot achieve the effect of volume attenuation. And after checking the option for cast sound, it will be converted to a 3D sound effect, and you can set the volume attenuation method for it. We will use the editor's sound effect system to build a simple demonstration scene. First, add a 3D sound effect to the scene as background music, set its various properties. Then create a buff, name it DO, and set its sound properties as well. Drag a cube part into the scene, also naming it DO. Adjust its position and color, and check the anchor property. As you can hear, the background music and playing the sound effect after clicking the part are both successfully implemented. Click the trigger edit to enter the trigger edit interface. Create a, when the part is click trigger. Double click on the dot and open the list of entity triggers. Select to add a buff to the entity. The entity is set to the entity of the click part. For buff selects the previously created DO. Change the buff duration to 3 seconds. Close the trigger edit interface, run the game, and listen to the effect. As you can hear, the background music and playing the sound effect after clicking the part are both successfully implemented. Follow the process of making the buff and the part earlier, make 6 more buffs and parts, and set them different names and give different sound effects for them. After finishing it, run the game again to check out the new effects. We have successfully implemented a simple scene to play music. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you to create more wonderful sound effects. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.